All right, let's use uh, Google Sheets to make a seating chart. It's pretty simple to do, and it doesn't cost anything because it's part of the Google Sheets. Uh, the Google Suite is free, so that's great. It comes with your Google account. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a student list that I have. You may recognize those names. And I'm going to type in on the top, student or students. And let's see, just double click. And for this one, I'm going to bold it. And we'll center just that top one. Uh, I'm going to rename this sheet to students. So then I can keep coming back to it. Uh, I want to make another sheet. So I'll add a sheet. And this one I'm going to rename seating chart. This is the one that will have our actual seating chart that we're going to make. So what we want to do is we want to define what the seating chart looks like. And you can make it however you want. I'm just going to make a simple grid for this one. Um, so I'm going to double click or right click on this one here and I'm going to resize the row and I'm just going to make this one 70. Okay. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to highlight this whole thing just by tapping on it. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to skip one so then there'll be space. Paste. And we'll paste this one and we'll paste this one. Uh, and I kind of want space for over here too. So what I'll do is I'll double click on this and for this resize the column, we're going to make it 20 and you'll see it'd be nice and small. And same thing, I'm just going to highlight the whole column, copy, paste, every other one. And we're just defining what our seating chart's going to look like here. There we go. So you can see the big squares will be the desks and then we've got spaces in between. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is want to make sure all these are the same. So uh, just watch what I'm going to do for this and follow along and you'll see it'll make sense afterwards. So I'm going to highlight this first big cell over here. And what I want to do is I want to make it center. And then the next button here I'm going to vertically align to the middle. And I'm also going to wrap text. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that I can see this as the actual seat itself. So I'll go over here to the borders and I'll put a border around the whole thing. Okay, so now this is going to be sort of the template for all the other seats. So we'll just take this and I'm going to copy it and I'll paste it to this one, to this one, and to this one. And now I'm going to copy this whole row and I'll paste it here and to the next one and to the next one, and to the next one, and to the next one. So now we've got our basic template for where the seats are going to be. And every name that goes in there will be centered, and it will be right in the middle, and it will also be justified. So it should work out nicely. Uh, I'm going to add two more rows up here. I'm going to double click, add above, and we'll do that one more time. And the only reason why I'm doing this is because I want to put that this is a seating chart for block one, and this will be for the 2016-2017 school year. Uh, I would like to make this a little bit bigger, so we're going to merge that cell, center, bold, and we'll do the same thing with this one. Merge, center, and bold. So when we finally get our, our seating charts populated with our students' names, uh, what we can do is just highlight this whole piece here. And when I go to my print, what I'm going to do is just print the selection, this part. I'm also going to select no grid lines. Now down here, I want it to fit the whole page, and landscape is usually better for me, but you can pick whichever you want. So when I hit print, you'll see what the preview looks like. And this will be our seating chart right here. It'll have all the students' names in it. So the next part, what we want to do is we're going to put our list of students from the other sheet right over here. So we'll go back to this. And I'm just going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm just going to paste it here. And it really doesn't matter that some of these are bigger than others. So we have a few ways that we can populate these lists. Uh, one of the ways that we can do that is alphabetically. 
and you may want to do it randomly. So I'll show you how to do that too. So the most tedious part of this is what we have to do is we have to assign at least once the first time um, a name to each one of these cells. And the way that we do that is this cell right here is M2. So we have to tell Google Sheets that this cell equals M2 and then hit enter. And George's name goes right here. So the next one is equals M3 equals M4. You get the idea equals M5. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going through this equals M6 equals M7 equals M8. Okay, so I'm going to populate the rest of these uh, and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so all of our seats are populated with our students. It's a very presidential list. Um, one of the things that you may want to do now, if you want to continue to do something like this, and if your classrooms look the same, um, and this is what I tend to do, is I will just click down here and I will duplicate this. And the reason why I'm going to do this is because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that duplicated one and I'm going to rename it to template. And so the reason why I'm going to do that is because I have all the cells populated with the students' names. Um, but what I can do now is I can use the template as um, a starting point for other classes. So what I'll do for the template is I'll just take the list of student names that I have here and I'm just going to delete them. And so now it looks like it's blank, but if we click on this, you can see up here it actually reads M2 and then M3, M4. And so when I put in another student list, it'll automatically populate it. So let's go back to our original one over here. If you don't want the students to be in the list like this, but if you would prefer to have the students alphabetized, very simple to do. We just highlight the whole column and we'll go and use this data button over here. And what we'll do is we'll go to sort range. We don't want to hit these and I'll show you why in just a minute. So if we hit the sort range, we want to tell sheets that there actually is a header and you'll notice the name comes up here. We can do alphabetical or we can do reverse alphabetical. So if we keep it as alphabetical and we hit sort, it alphabetizes the list. But remember we told sheets that each one of these cells is populated by the name over here. And so now we have an alphabetized seating chart. Works perfectly. If we didn't want alphabetized, maybe we wanted it to be randomized. Let's add in a random column at the top over here. And same thing, I'm going to bold this and we'll center it. What I'm going to do is we're going to tell uh, Google Sheets to generate a random number for each of these cells and then we'll assign it a random number for each of these students. The way that that will happen is if we click here we just hit equals and then we'll type in random, R-A-N-D. Uh, if we open and close the parentheses and then just hit enter it automatically generates a random number. So I'll highlight this and then I will drag to copy down a random number next to each one of my students. And anytime anything is done now in Google Sheets, it will automatically generate a random number. So if we wanted to put the students in random order, we can highlight both of these columns and we'll go back to our data tab. And again, we want to go to sort range. Now, again, we want to tell that there is a header for each of these. And now we have a choice. We can sort by the student header or we want random. So when we hit sort, Google Sheets is going to assign a new random number and then it will link the two cells together. Ta-da! And now we have a nice randomized list of our students. If we wanted a new random list, we repeat the process. Highlight these, data, sort range, tell it that it has headers and again we can go by random. And now there's a new seating chart. If we wanted to go back to alphabetical order, highlight that again, data, sort range, yes there's a header, header. and so now we do A to Z, 
and it's back in alphabetical order. Now, the reason why we want to go through the steps of actually hitting data and then sort is because if we just used this tab here, then it doesn't know that students is not a student name. It doesn't know that it's a header. So if we just click this little bar here and we did sort the sheet from A to Z, now students is in alphabetical order way down here at the bottom. And so we don't want to do that. So let's go back to Command Z to get rid of that. Uh, the only other thing we really want to do is just name this. Seating chart, 2016-2017. Uh, so there we go. Uh, if we want to print it, remember all we do is we just highlight the seating chart and then no grid lines and just the selection, not the whole sheet. So when we go to print, it's only our seating chart right here. All right. That works perfectly. Uh, and of course, this is just a simple setup. You can make the seating chart look however you like it. Thanks for watching.